That's a very old tag. Uh, that's an older piece. So, you know, that's going to go to the vintage flea market. You know, uh oh, what's this? Different types of wood in there. It looks almost like a Rubik's Cube. And it has a big, big collector market. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like uh, ballet dancers or something. That's going to be something special. I'm going to put that aside. What's going on here? That's a train of some sort. Look at this thing. And because of the pattern and stuff, I think this is some sort of Native American piece, but I think it's wool. That's pretty dang cool. I'm not sure what that is. A little patch in there. But look, look at this. There's a metal box in here. What is this? All right, what do we got here? This looks interesting, doesn't it? Ooh, it is a cash box. Oh, look at this. Brand new. Wait, that looks cool. Uh-oh, that looks interesting. Good morning, Locker Nuts. All right, it is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, a little bit after 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm headed out in just a little bit. We're going to do some filming today. We're going over to my locker, and we're going to go through some of that estate purchase that I made recently. If you guys haven't been watching, I bought six storage lockers, which were owned by a gentleman who recently passed away. The family had no need for the stuff and wanted to just sell it all. We bought them sight unseen, and but we were told there was uh, collectibles in there, and there's been, yeah, that's that's an understatement. There's been some massive collections in there. Cards, comics, VHS, science fiction books. What else? I don't even know. There's some video games too. We haven't come across, we only come across like this much, but there's going to be some more, I think. And uh, today we're going to do some digging. Are you guys ready? Let's go. But first, I just want to say it is super hot outside. We are in a little bit of a heat wave. First heat of the summer. It's May. And uh, you know what that means? That means it's time for some sleeveless shirts. You. Yeah. All right, just like that, we're here. We're at the unit. Ooh, 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 okay, let me just show you real quick. This is what we're going through. I show this every time you guys, you probably see this so many times, and you're like, ah, oh, okay, there's just a bunch of boxes on shelves. But what this box is represent, yes, this is what's exciting right here. So many treasures are in these boxes. We peeked, we cherry picked on that first load, and this is what we got. And yeah, this was packed when I first, you know, moved it in, and we've, we've whittled it away, pulling some stuff out here. I'm hoping today we're gonna make some really good progress. That's the goal. Gotta get uh, get through as much as I can because tomorrow I'm headed to Sacramento. I've got a couple guys helping me. We're bringing the trailer. We're gonna get a huge load, bring it back. It's not going in here. This is still gonna be for working in here. Uh, the shelves make it really nice. One of my other units I've got almost empty, so we're just gonna pack it in there and then I'll take a little bit out at a time or maybe go through some over there and bring the good stuff here. I don't, I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll come up with the plan. Here's what I got today. I got the van, first of all, but I grabbed these bins right here. These are from a locker uh, a couple years ago. Right when we came out of COVID, I bought this locker. I called it, I forget, the $1,800. No, what I call it? Four Days on the Hunt, I think I called it. So I went to four days of live auctions, only bought one, and it was this unit. It was a great unit. Um, paid $1,800. bucks. They had all these bins, and man, these people had some nice clothes, handbags. That was a great locker. I still got all these totes. I got tons more than that, but I still keep these for when I need some serious organization. I got some paint tape and a sharpie to write some labels on there we're gonna be sorting today okay I think we're going to start back here in this section here we got some big boxes and if I remember correctly we didn't go through these all that closely Ooh, this is those Disney cards I think we might save those because I think we have more of the sleeves anyways uh, let's go through some of these big ones I think it's like general stuff like miscellaneous flea markety type stuff we'll find out okay let's see what we got yeah Move my coffee first of all. It's dusty. I don't want to get dusty in my coffee. Okay, got some rugs. We'll bring those straight to the market. These are good. These. This is kind of funny. I, we used to sell rugs very similar to this at the flea market. We used to sell towels at the flea market when I was a kid. And for some reason, we got some very much like these. Uh, I, I don't remember why. We just got a good deal on them or something. And yeah, they did okay. We sold them. They were cheap. Wood hangers. See the leathers, leather pieces in here. Southwest Indian Children's Fund. Okay, just a little scarf. A little scarf. What's this? Beyond leather, made in China. I'm not beyond impressed. I'm just. <laughs> I don't know what I'm beyond. Uh, that's just a leather vest. Made in China. I'm not. I'm not going to be too impressed with most things made in China, with the exception of my iPhone, of course. Um, life member, North American Fishing Club. Okay, there's a. Looks like leather. No, this has got to be pleather. Also made in China. That's kind of neat. It's got a map on the inside. No, it is 100% leather. 
Just a little old, it could use a little conditioning. And there's a hat. Ooh, what's this? Size large. Huh, that looks kind of interesting. I don't know if that's real fur though. That's a very old tag. Uh, that's an older piece, so you know that's going to go to the vintage flea market. I've got uh, those, from the train locker, I've got those bicycle wheel covers there. I forget, I think what, that, what those are, they've been sitting around. So I've got these green bins, also like I mentioned, we're going to be sorting today. We've got green bins for the vintage market. We've got these bins for just sorting, like saying, okay, here's some comics and then another one for cards or maybe by brand of cards, I don't know, series or whatever. I don't quite know yet. I just know we we'll need some sorting in this in this unit here. St. John's Bay, another leather jacket. That's kind of nice. It needs to be cleaned up again, but that's a nice piece. I'm going to also bring that to the vintage market. Maxwear, another leather jacket. This one's a little bit more worn and thrashed along the collar. Yeah, this one's really good. Ooh, what's in the pocket, though? What's this? Uh, something to go around the neck, probably. Now that'll go to the regular flea market. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a little bit more interesting right here. So, Indi, in, no, Italian Stone Design, Genuine Leather, Naver, Naver, Naver Leather Company, Double XL. It's got a whole bunch of pins on it. You got a combination of some Safeway employee pins and then some veteran pins. Oh, there's a, a Disneyland pin. 1987, it says, okay, 1987. 24k camper is that gold right there nah that'd be nice but nah Raul ranch we'll just put that right there f you the humbug okay <laughs> you don't need to see the whole thing this is a family channel all right i don't know what this stuff is here but uh that's an interesting piece yeah that's kind of cool i'm gonna put that aside that might go into our live auctions here that might be auction worthy and one more leather jacket Leather King, genuine leather, 100% leather, double XL. Okay, I'll bring that one to the vintage market. I think that one might be a little bit better quality. I don't know, it's a little different. I like different. These ones, not so different. Those will go back in the box and we'll take that to the market. I think we grabbed some of these big ones towards the end of the loading and we weren't quite as picky. So we're just kind of grabbing stuff saying, okay, let's just grab it. Let's fill the van. Shit, that's for oh I think that's a display put something in here maybe not display it maybe like for art uh, you know art uh, paints or something ghost town directory of the west that's kind of neat yeah, I mean it's really neat actually Wyoming Oregon New Mexico that's cool I'm gonna put that aside I might put that in our live auction who knows who knows we like to do lots of ephemera sometimes ephemera a lot so this is a weird stuff in here Got this nice bin whenever you have like a bunch of small loose parts this maybe is a little bit bigger than we need but helps keep things uh quick and tidy hmm okay this is a little different we do have some coins in here english coins the plane z plane canada currency there's the ten commandments on a coin rico car wash mm -hmm. what's in here what is that? I don't know what that is. Just a little part to something. A little tax. Alright, not too exciting in there. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's some CO2 cartridges. And that's it. Okay. Let's see about this. A nice little cigar box. The cigar box got a little value. This is an old sifter. Empty bubble solution. Old candy. Got an odd mix right here. Mm -mm. Silica gel. And coffee filters. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's a little thermometer. Maybe we'll put that in the flea market box. Oh, boy. This is kind of hoarder-ish right here. These are, I think these are for ink cartridges, for like ink printers. I think he kept all the cartridges. Maybe he was planning to refill them. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Hairspray in a tin can. All right. 
Okay, a bunch of paperwork here. I'll go through that, but look at this. This is just the lid for a game, but that's Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Official Dungeon Master decks, deck of magical items. So I love, I love seeing that kind of stuff because we want to find more Dungeons and Dragons. Hunting and fishing trivia. Another game, remember this guy was a game designer, so he's had like so many different types of games. So many. Any okay, magazines. We'll go through all that. I'll let you know. Uh oh. What's this? Feels empty, but let's make sure. <laughs> empty. Kind of a nice little case, though. Okay. Oh, just some miscellaneous stuff. Oh, this is kind of cool, though. These little handles for probably a pocket door. Brass. That will take to the vintage market. There may be buyers for that. Somebody can repurpose it. Another thing someone might be able to repurpose, cast iron, probably the top of a fence post or something. The guy was a tinker. I think he tinkered and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, hang on a second, guys, in this paperwork. I said I was going to go through it all. Purchased Santa Dollar, 1994. Oh, it's in there. Okay. That's kind of neat, right? A little Santa Dollar. I think it's a real dollar. Legal certificate. There's some collectability to those. I think we found one before. I don't think it's big money, but it is fun. Fun find. Okay, next box. This is the one I said um, that, ooh, I don't remember this one being in there. What is this? More fantasy art, it looks like. Fantasy art. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put those right up here because these are, I think, what go in this box right here. And these look to be Disney. This is in the first uh, episode when we were at the locker. We went through this, see that, Disney? Music to his ears, it says on that. No copyright date, just says the Disney, the Walt Disney Company, okay? But um, I think we found at least one more, oops, light went out. We found one more box like this, like just the sleeve, right? I'm, I'm sorry, you know, like one of these boxes, loose. So we don't want to separate it from this case right here. Maybe that's a complete collection, I don't know. Let's put that aside for this moment and grab this one. Okay, this one looks kind of interesting. It does, it does. I see games, I see games. Sight Bites. An old Macworld magazine. That was 1994 on that. Sneak peek for Planet Art. Um, these might be, this could be something he got from a convention. Maybe Cytex was a convention he went to, got a bunch of brochures and stuff. That's what I think. Okay, a bunch of travel brochures. X-Files, collectible card game, all right. A little um, information pamphlet on that. And now that's for Star Trek, the card game there. Let's print out. So what are these? They're cards. Towers in Time, okay. That's something different. I haven't seen that yet, I don't think. Towers in Time, cool. Colt with the K, booster packs. Okay, you open them, and it's a bunch of cards, loose. Jamie Sims, it says that that's the artist, but uh, it doesn't have a date on it. Made in Germany. I still don't see a date. Nuclear War Booster Packs. Oh, hang on. These aren't open, are they? Those are sealed. Nuclear War Booster Packs. I don't know if there's any value there either. I'll have to look some of this stuff up and see if we can find some comps. But so far, we haven't found anything super major since finding the Yu-Gi-Oh! And the, and the Dragon Ball Z. Those are the most expensive cards. Everything else has been like me. A little bit of value. <laughs> okay. This is a miscellaneous box. Battery. Motorola charger. Oh, it's not good. It says old spent batteries. Depleted. Depleted. These have been in uh, storage for probably 15 years, I would say. So there's a couple that are popped. Most of them look uh, don't look too bad, but I don't think they're going to have much of a charge left. So I'll take those home and add them to my recycle bin. We got a little, we, we, we do recycle the batteries. You're not supposed to dispose of those in the landfill, right? Oh, someone went to the dentist. Oh, that's a good toothbrush. I'll take that home. This, probably not. Expired in 2014. <laughs> we'll bring it to the market, though. Okay. Oh, this is good right here, guys. Look at this. Timber tumble. Little puzzles. Games, whatever you call it, timber tumble. Um, wow, okay, it looks like we have an entire bag full of them. And, oh my goodness, they are all the same. They are all the same. 
All right, it's made by Fundex. Fundex, I don't know if there's gonna be any value on these at all, but, um, hmm. Ah, look at that. That's pretty. Different types of wood in there. It looks almost like a Rubik's Cube. Okay, we won't take that apart, because I'll never get it back together. Okay, these, that, that's kind of interesting, but almost like a mini Jenga. I'll put those in a box. We'll take it home, add it to one of our auction lots. You guys probably heard me talk about the auctions a couple times now, and what that is is a um, live auction on our youtube channel only on youtube every monday night at 5 p.m pacific all right that's when we do it oh look at this aliens and predator alien resurrection these are brand new sealed packs dune thunder at twilight this is the kind of stuff that probably we will sell in the live auction at some point all right so if you are interested in some of the stuff you see we're going to be selling it two ways one's on our ebay and one is in our live auctions okay well some of it's going to go to flea market but the stuff that's the most exciting we save for those two venues all right aliens predator and dune right here wait there's something else there's something else dune thunder at twilight and dune judge of the change so those are two are those theme decks or what 60 cards in a rule book it's pretty cool i've never seen the dune game yet but i'm not surprised dune's a very it has a big big collector market and see this is what i talk about with these bins i'm going to start just putting the trading cards in here so we keep them organized keep them you know from getting crushed or whatever oh no look at this <laughs> oh no look at this more of these there's a lot of these okay so how, what am i gonna do with so many of these i don't know we'll look them up we'll look them up oh the light goes out every time i come back here <laughs> i guess that means it takes me 15 minutes to get through a box miscellaneous from the cupboard uh, okay not liking that so far big old walk okay that's cool that'll go to the market and we got some other stuff in here micro models oh this is the castle right here okay yeah it's not i'm not too impressed it's paper um it looks like they already put it together wizard castle make this model oh interesting cut all the pieces out hmm, okay that's neat tree houses of the world oh a 2012 calendar whoa that's cool look at that tree house the plane the plane now there's a Eiffel Tower is it supposed to be? I don't know, but it looks almost like a birdhouse. Is that supposed to be for a little bird? It's an awfully small house. But I think it could be. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like uh, ballet dancers or something. It's like a puzzle, but it also looks like it's supposed to be on the wall. Hmm, there's another birdhouse. Look at that with some frames. Looks like they're peeling off a little bit. I think it looks get better without those. That's a neat piece. It's kind of cool. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, these are four coins. Look at this. Quarters, nickels, dimes, and... Huh, it's got it locked up for some reason. Well, it's not really locked, but is that really necessary? I don't know. I think it's more for decorative. That's kind of a cool piece. That's going to go to the vintage market. Hmm. Okay, vintage toys, right? That's a vintage uh, pencil sharpener, bronze or something. Those, there is a collector market for that. It, what's that supposed to look like? A little printing press? No, some kind of a, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Pretty cool though. Feed box, hmm, it's definitely a little different. Senkyo, made in Japan. It's not working super loud, but it is working. Oh, this is a uh, Happy Meal toy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all of a sudden that thing started lighting up. There we go. Right, look at that. Dime. Add that to my dime box, or my coin box. And the rest of this. Uh, hang on a second. Is this something special? This could be something special right here. Is this painted on the inside? If so, that is, uh, that's going to be something special. It looks like there's a powder or something in there too. I'm going to put that aside. I mean, this could be similar. Whoa, very detailed. This one too, right here. Hmm, okay. That's an, that's some interest here. A couple of rocks here. Plastic. Okay. Mm. <laughs> that's something different too. There's a, there's a candle. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> that is something different. Hmm, what is going on here? I don't even know what to make of that. That's different. 
Okay, wait, look at this, Jack Daniels. Okay, wait, look at this, Jack Daniels. That could be vintage, I'll bring that to the vintage market. What is that? It's like pumice or something, it's very rough. It's got feet on it though. And this too. What is that? Some kind of lizard, but this is like, I think it's pumice. It's super like sharp, like you rub your calluses off by rubbing on it. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. That music box is still going. I give that thing quite the wind. It might be going for a while. Okay, there's some, ooh, whoa. Look at this. Italy. What does that say? 7531 or 1531? I don't think it's 1531. Uh, but there's some handmade little pots here and they all messed up. That's kind of neat. That one was broken and re-glued, but it's cool. Planter, pot, this one not so cool. Okay, flea market. Well, actually it all goes to the flea market, but the Italy ones I think will go to the vintage market. Hmm, okay. What's going on here? That's a train of some sort. Wow. Is that a custom jobber or what? Some kind of thing to make, to clean the train tracks? I don't know. I'm gonna put, this is not the train locker guys, this is a different locker. Uh, that looks like a locomotive toy stuff, toy stuff. That's nice, look at these little tiny grips right here, quick grip. These are really nice, I have so many of these, I don't think I have any small ones like that. I might keep those. A little bit of track. Yeah, this is a cheap one, but, oh actually it's Craftsman, but another grip. Um. You know what? It's kind of funny. I was just thinking today, I wish I had a grip, some kind of clamps or something to clamp the garbage bag up. I'm gonna keep that in here. That could actually come in handy. That's a uh, die cast right here. It says Maestro, pretty well worn though. Hmm. There's another Chevron car uh, booklet right here. See that? Chandler Chip. We just sold some of those a couple nights ago in a live auction. The Chevron cars, they're cool. Not that one, we didn't sell that one. Uh oh, what do we have here? Look at this, Excalibur, Pool Mania. Hmm, we'll have to look this up and see if there's value on this. Huh, that's really cool. Vintage little pocket video game with the box. 16 bucks brand new, but I don't know. That could be worth a little bit. It's got the instruction book. That's a good find. I'm happy about that. Okay, speaker grill. <laughs> oh, what's this? Attractive card dispenser. It's attractive. <laughs> It's got cards in it too, Lucerne. Hmm. Some kind of little LED lights here. More little parts and pieces in here. Sardine can. Clock face. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Gotta clean some room back here. Okay, got some clothes. Like I said, I think we were getting towards the end of the load and we said let's just get some bigger stuff on there let's move it along we we're getting tired it was getting hot this is interesting look at this duke habend exclusive it's a double x it's like a long jacket but look at all these patches interesting cambridge a bunch of england scotland yeah these are all just different types of patches mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. that's different that is different that's going in our live auction put it there with that leather vest we like to have things that are different in the live auctions it's our favorite that's what keeps our live auctions fun leather works is this like the other one and i'm not even sure he wore these ever um this one i don't know if that's like the other one i put the other one in the vintage market this one doesn't i don't know okay, let me go through this looks like clothes oh hang on I was gonna say, let me look through and find the better stuff, more interesting, and I'll just show you guys that. But this is kind of cool. There's another jacket with some patches. Napa Valley Wine Train, another Safeway. He must have worked at Safeway at some point. Camper Ree's got some Boy Scout stuff on here. Okay, and this is uh, British Columbia Ferry, Freeport Bahamas, Jim Bean. This is kind of cool. This is neat. Uh, and this is another double XL. This one's Weather Breaker. All right, let me go through this. It looks like uh, maybe a lot of regular clothes. Oh, no, there's another one. All right, let me go through here and pull all the good stuff out, and we'll just take a quick look at it afterwards. But, oh, real quick, though. What is this? This this actually looks kind of decent. I got distracted by this piece here, but this is something. Uh-uh. This is something better right here. This is 
possibly Native American right here. Look at this thing. Look at the um, the detail work in here. Oh, okay. How do we tell um, if it's hand done? I think you look for irregularities. You know, and I think we do see some irregularities. Like it's not perfect, perfect, perfect like a machine would do. And I am seeing that. So this is, a, I would say this is a handmade piece. And because of the pattern and stuff, I think this is some sort of Native American piece. But, huh, I don't know. I got some guys that might know. I'm going to take a picture of that and send it to them real quick and see if they uh, if they got any thoughts on this. Little, little chunk right there, maybe a moth. Has been chewing a little bit. Ah, oh, bummer. I do see some holy, holy, holies in it. Possibly a little moth action. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. That's a beautiful piece. And touching it, I think it's wool. That's pretty dang cool. That's going in the car. Okay. Uh, most of that was just regular stuff, right? And a lot of uh, heavier jackets and outerwear and stuff. This right here is kind of interesting. Nordstrom, just because Nordstrom branded clothes, a little bit more expensive. Made in Hong Kong. It looks pretty nice. It's got it's a little different, right? Look at this. I don't know. Is that it's like a faux abalone shell? Maybe it's abalone. I don't know, but it's got neat. These things are pretty cool. And look at the inside right here. That's different, right? I would not expect that to be on the inside of a of a um, Nordstrom piece right there. I think that's a faux fur though. That's it says 100% cotton, so there's no fur on that. But it's a nice looking piece, heavy. This right here, kind of interesting. Look at this 1960 sweatshirt, hooded sweatshirt, zip up, uh, but no tag inside. It just says extra large, no branded tag. It made in China. Might be a knockoff. Nope. Oh, this is the brand right here. CCC, huh? CCC. Not familiar with that brand. Coors Light, and we got a really nice NFL patch here, embroidered patch huge on the back and then the decals on the arms it's kind of a neat piece i don't know what this is though 50th anniversary um with Coors Light. i don't know if this is authentic or something you buy in the parking lot but yeah it's kind of neat extra large Ooh, just noticed <laughs> pretty thrashed though Ooh, really thrashed didn't even notice that dang it all right we'll still take it to the vintage market we'll let them sort it out this right here much better condition really nice extra large wrangler hero i don't know what the difference in brands is what the hero is look at this Satisfaction ECV Credo Absurdum. I'm not sure what that is. A little patch in there. Maybe he was meaning to patch it up. Obviously, he liked his patches. We'll put that aside. We do sell uh, patches and lots on the live auction also. And yeah, of course, you can see he did like his patches. <laughs> this one's all patched up too. St. Thomas Virgin Islands. I wonder if he went to these places. I would assume he did, but maybe he just collected these. Jamaica, Canada, Florida, Smokey the Bear. Need another neat piece. This one's a little bit more worn. See, it's got a little bit of dirt. I think you use these at work. Um, but yeah, I, I like these. These are a little different. The fact it's customized like that. Patches you could take off and reuse, and there's a collector market for those, like I said. I like it. Okay, I got the next box, which is the last box back in that section. The last big box. And, uh, uh, doesn't look as good, right? Not yet. These are kind of interesting, though. EWI Enlightened Wealth Institute, huh? Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. This kind of stuff, guys, I do not recommend. You want to get rich? I don't know if I recommend this kind of stuff right here. Mm, what? So corny. Corny. So it looks like we got a whole kit. This stuff does sometimes have value, so um, if it's complete, it'll. Look at that, that's sealed brand new. Yep, it didn't do to him much good. He didn't even take it out. Um, let's see, this one's the same. Yep, okay, he didn't even take it out of the bag. All right, well, you know what? I don't I don't know this company, Money Make Money Makeover Made Easy, EWI. I don't know that, but I'll look it up. And it could be that it's got some value and we'll sell it just like this. Sell it just like this. Um, I don't know. I know that we found Robert Kiyosaki stuff. It definitely sells. Not for as much as it used to, but it, there's still a market. Uh, me personally, I believe in Dave Ramsey's program. If you guys are looking for some financial advice, trying to get your finances in order, Dave Ramsey is going to be your best bet. Uh, very straightforward common sense to managing your finances and building a retirement. This kind of stuff here. Uh -uh. I don't, I don't, don't put your money in that. All right. <laughs> but look at this. There's a metal box in here. What is this? Okay, we'll get to this in a second. All right. Let's see what's in these first. Eh. Camel cash. Hmm. 
Interesting, because I didn't peg the guy for a smoker. I don't smell smoke on his stuff. Camel cash. One C note, it says. C note. That's kind of funny. We'll play on the words there. Um, okay. Coin. Penny. Uh, right. I don't know if there's any value in these camel caches. Hmm. My brother's coffee. Some jaws. Yep. <laughs> this is trash. This is hoarder stuff right here. Alright. Okay, this is a little more interesting. Look at this. Die cast. Oh, and look at this. It's not releasing. It's a little knife. Oh, it's right here. ART. It says ART. Eagle something revolver. That's kind of neat. This one looks a little better right here. This bin. Got a little button. Got some coins. Okay, what do we got here? That's ah, some foreign money and some tokens. Another button, more camel cash. I don't know if that's worth anything at all. 1998. Maybe I'll pull this camel cash aside and see if we can look up anything on it because I don't know. Uh, there's a little piece of copper right there. Yeah, no, okay, not too exciting there. <laughs> it has a little piggy bank. Nothing in it though. Okay, a little frisbees. Aerobi Ar sharpshooter golf disc. Oh, golf disc. Oh, neat. Number one, number three. That's cool. Yeah, that's actually kind of neat. I'm going to put those aside. Frisbee golf. Here's another one, number two. Oh, there's the thing for it. Aerobi sharpshooter golf disc. Okay, there might be a little value in that. Maybe a little bit. Hmm, some nice bags here. American's Legacy. Ah, man, that looks like a nice knife. Okay, there's no knife in here though, but I'm gonna put that aside. Hopefully we find that. Check out that sticker. Blue Panther. Sushi kit. There's a book. Looks like it's missing the sushi mat over here. It'd be rolled up. Chopsticks, a little spoon. That's cool. Flea market. Some sort of uh, cutting tool, I think. Some old books. IR clamper. All right, I think this guy was into billiards, right? Because here's some tournament uh, paperwork. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Mm -mm. Train posters. Mining District of California. That's pretty neat. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> this looks interesting, doesn't it? Wow, okay. Mmm, it is a cash box. But there's no cash in it. <laughs> Summer. It's pretty cool. Brian's German goblets and steins. Hmm. Made in German Democratic Republic. Whoa. This one's the same thing. Made in German Democratic Republic. That's what we seem to have. There's no steins. It's just glassware. German glassware. Oh, look at this. Bunch of miniatures. Yeah, it's kind of neat. You know, we will put these in our live auction because we do miniatures from time to time. Whenever we can, really. So, yeah, that'll go in there. Missions of California right there. Okay. What's that? That's a heater. Oh, okay, original disc furnace. Huh. I don't know if I would trust that in my house to heat it up. Um, but you know what? I'll take it to the market. We'll let them sort it out. Okay, what do we got here? Got some aluminum right here. I'm not sure what those were for originally, but aluminum. Ah, I should have some little containers for... The scrap metal. A little flashlight. There's some pennies in here. A couple of them. A little aluminum or no, I don't know what type of metal that is. A little typewriter. That's that's odd. I'll put that with the miniatures. It's a little railroad spike right there. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, whoa. Wait, what is it? Oh, I thought it was BBs because I saw only the head of the, the, uh, are they like magnetic? Oh no, there's a magnet in there. Okay, never mind. I'm tripping. Pins. Nails, I'm not sure. Nails. Okay. What got here? Oh, a little train. All right. Not too, too, uh, amazing or anything, but there's a little train. Fairmont Creamery. All right, 7823, Roundhouse Products. Okay, that's kind of neat. Some ties. <laughs> yeah. Couple tools, and what's this? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Hmm. This is another music box or something. It looks like it. No. Yeah, sure what it is. Oh, that's cool. A little eagle, brass eagle. I don't know. Well, this and that. This thing I could actually, I think, use uh, in these lockers. Okay, we'll put that aside. That's a keeper. Synchron. That's good, right? That's That was a decent box, and uh, that's that area clear. So, where do we go now? Um, okay, so there's a lot of cards in here. I don't necessarily need cards right now. Right, the second. Let's go back to this area here and start knocking this out. And I kind of feel like I'm not even get up here. Okay, anyways, let's go in here. All right. Okay. Wabbit's Revenge. What? <laughs> All right, another old game right there. Funny, right? Adventure board game? We should probably look that up. That might have some value. Bags for comics, I think. All right. Ooh. Raiders of the Lost Art collector's album. That's cool. And then look at all these Starlog photo guidebooks, huh? Starlog photo guidebook. Fantastic worlds, science fiction weapons, special effects, aliens, and other special effects. I don't know if there's value in those magazines, but we'll find out. I, I, I guess they're not magazines. They technically are books, but they're just not very fat. Seven bucks, though, brand new. See that? Seven dollars. And that was in 1979. That's expensive for the time. Oh, look at this. Doctor Who and the Dal Daleks? Omnibus, Daleks Omnibus. Ooh, we don't find that much Doctor Who stuff. 1976, it's starting to come off the spine here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty old. And a couple more games here. Ooh, ooh, what's this? What is this? This, this could be something decent. Yeah, I'm not impressed with Blockade, not so much this. Ring World, this smacks of Dungeons and Dragons type feel. The, could be like a knockoff game. Um, Okay, what do we got here? So far, everything's in, been in great condition here. Ring World. Please be aware something, Ring World. 1984. That's pretty cool. Explorer book, technology book, cre uh, creatures book. Oh, look at this. Got maps and stuff. Ring World. Hmm. Chaosium. Explorer figures. This is pretty, pretty interesting. Reference sheets. Okay, oh, okay. And he just made photocopies of those. Good for him. All right, this is uh, this is some potential right here, I'd say, guys. This is potentially something a little valuable, maybe. Maybe I'm just hoping. Hmm, 1984. Sweet. That's, that's an interesting find. Okay, next box. Let's look this up right here. There's some books. I think we peeked in this last time. I can't remember if it was on camera or off, but uh, what appears to be manga, classic manga. All right, Monkey Punch. Monkey Punch. Wait, Monkey Punch says right there. Lupin 3, World is Most Wanted. All right, so Dr. Slump. Okay. Boy, oh, there's some Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, Duelist. So this is kind of interesting, right? Chobits. Inuyashi. Video Girl. AI. Category. Freaks. Volume 1, 2, and 3. Good. So this is some interesting stuff. Oh, I see a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh in here. Look at this. Lots of Yu-Gi-Oh. There's another one. There's some Inuyasha. Inuyasha. I don't know. Uh, so what, this this has some potential. Oh, here's one sealed right here. Brand new. Whoa, that looks cool. Bastard. Okay, that doesn't sound like a very happy title. <laughs> so. All right, we'll take this home and we'll look these up. Uh, I don't know what to do with these. They have barcodes, so maybe I could look them up on Amazon. List them on Amazon, maybe. That might be a little bit faster. Um, or we'll put them in our live auction. We'll put them in lots if we do that. All right, I just looked a few of those up on Amazon. I saw like $6, $6, and like $2. So they're not like super duper um, expensive or anything. But... Um, you need approval to sell the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu ones on Amazon, so that makes it a little bit harder. We'll probably put these in our live auction and do some big lots. Hopefully we got some manga fans out there. Alright, let's get this one right here. Okay. Okay, guys, this is pretty interesting, um, and I'll tell you why. For one, it says some interesting stuff. For two, this is sealed, and that's... I don't get that, because the family says that they went through everything, everything, every box. And every box we found, for the most part, has been opened, right? So they didn't go through this one, but maybe because he wrote that on here, they didn't decide... They decided not to, but this is... Uh, 
Paperbacks, here's Anthony. Dungeons and Dragon trading cards, two boxes, and Star Wars cards. So that definitely sounds good to me. This sounds like the type of box I hope to find. All right, this is weird. Oracle Science International Time Capsule Weather Report. It's like custom made for him and is out of Sausalito, which is like not far from us. I don't know, I think it's almost like a horoscope, like a, a high-tech horoscope basically. That's something different. All right, this Star Trek. We like finding the Star Trek. Star Trek book, definitely vintage. You can tell from the fonts. It's got some kind of wheel right here, reference wheel. Weird, cool, interesting. Okay, that's 1976, all right? Vintage Star Trek stuff. This right here, I see Star Trek. Star Trek, the first season review. All right, <laughs> third season review, second season review, mistaken identity. This is a, a, I don't know, like maybe for an English class or something. Hmm, little travel brochures. Cool. Bill of Rights. New Zealand travel book. Pretty. Oh, what's this? Cyberpunk, role-playing game of the dark future. I think we may have found some cyberpunk cards. This looks like an instruction book, sealed brand new, guys. This is interesting. 1990, 32 year old uh, book, sealed brand new. Nice, 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 nice. What's this? Cyberspace, role playing on the cutting edge of a future dark. What? Blah, 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 blah. This is another, another game. Ooh, this is so cool. Chicago Arcology, Cy oh, no, cyberspace, okay? Hmm, all right. Campaign source book. So uh, that is sealed brand new. Earth Cyber Tech source book. This is this is some interesting stuff. GURPS Fantasy Trade Roy. Fantasy City for role playing adventure. This is all like knockoff Dungeons and Dragon type games. Merp Rollmaster. Weathertop. Another cyberpunk piece right there. Grimm's Cyber Tales. Cyberpunk Horror Encyclopedia. Castles of Harn. Man, I wish this was all Dungeons and Dragon stuff. Oh, James Bond 007 role playing in Her Majesty's Secret Service. Another game based on James Bond this time. Aliens and Artifacts. <laughs> oh man, this is getting crazy. Nip Picker's Guide for Next Generation Truckers. Let's see, dust cover for a book. Another dust cover for a book. Okay, check this out, guys. Oh, I can see below it. Uh oh. That looks interesting. A couple, those are the boxes, the Dungeon Dragons, 1991-1992. Oh man, I hope those are sealed. Let's see, Virtual Reality is another book. GURPS Ultratech, The Grimoire, Shadowrun 7106. We'll have to look some of these up. If we can look these up and get a price quote on the screen, if we can find something on them. This is, this is cool stuff. Comic Con Mini Comics, huh. One bag set of 11 mini comics, 79 to 1991. It's 12 bucks, not for children. Huh, that's what that is. Wow, that's different. Okay, here's some cards. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Okay. Oh, these are cool. They're all metallic. 1993 Skybox. This is some interesting stuff, guys. I like this stuff. Oh, it's another plastic case, this time with some Star Trek cards, collector cards. We're doing some nice Star Trek lots in our live auction coming up. If you're watching this and you're interested in this kind of stuff, definitely tune into those live auctions. That's where we're going to sell this stuff. Star Trek trading cards. Huh. That's super cool. Star Wars. There's just a random Star Wars book in there too. <laughs> Epic Magazine. That's kind of cool. Found a few of those. I think we already auctioned off a bunch of those already. And, oh, okay, Wizard, you got some price guides too. Comics, Power of the Duck, Power of the Duck, Heavy Metal, Star Wars, okay, this is cool, this is cool stuff, and I know this.